up you guys, this is Nacho here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix an iPod Touch or iPhone or anything that has apps really, iPad, all that kind of stuff, um, how to fix it from opening your apps. Now I know from the title of this video you guys probably are wondering how to fix this. So this, there are actually two quick easy ways on how to fix your iPod, iPad, iPhone, all this stuff and basically what the problem consists of is basically when you try to open any app, as soon as you try to open it, it just closes itself for no reason. And as you can see, it will not, I'm not pressing the home button, it just closes itself by itself for no reason at all. And there are two easy ways to fix this. Now obviously, well, I mean not obviously, if you guys are watching this video, you guys don't know how to fix it. Um, one way is you can hold the home button and the power button for 10 seconds. And what this will do is it will reboot your iPod completely. And sometimes that works, it makes it so your apps work again, but... Um, sometimes when I have done it, it is it just doesn't work. You know, it doesn't do anything. Um, sometimes you know, like that slight chance, it works, but it's not the most efficient way. The most efficient way that I'm going to show you guys right now is the simplest way is just go into your app store, and all you really need to do is just download an app. That's all you need to do. Um, basically, the reason that this happens, I've heard, is because when you plug in your iPod or iPhone or iPad into a computer. Um, when you when you're um, syncing it all up after you're done downloading everything, um, it loses the authentication um, needed to download apps. So basically, um, you just want to get a free app because you don't you don't want to pay money just to fix this. And most likely, you're not going to be using the app that you even download. So you know why waste money? And let that load. Sorry for the wait, guys. My internet is extremely slow. I mean, you guys know me. I'm Mexican. Come on, we all have shitty internet. <laughs> um. You just wanna re ah, like I said, this is extremely hard because I'm doing this with the camera lens. And hold on, let me move this away so I can type in my iTunes password because I don't want you guys spending like five thousand dollars on my iTunes account. Um, okay. And then once that starts downloading and installed, um, after it's done installing, you will be able to open all your apps most likely. And I'm just going to wait for this to download. I think I'm actually going to fast forward this part because my internet, like I said, is extremely slow. So it is probably going to take quite some time for this to download. So I will be back with you guys with a click, with a quick little cutscene right here. Um, I will check in right now, guys. Okay, guys, and we are back. It is finally done downloading. Now, what you want to do when you download that new app, you just want to open it up and make sure that you can actually play it. And as you can see, it is loading up perfectly fine. It is not exiting. It's actually loading. And this should fix your problem. All you want to do, I don't need an account. I don't really care. Game Center disabled. Don't really matter because I'm not going to play this app. Just using it to fix a problem that I already had. You just want to click start. And as you can see, it's working. Um, and to prove that this does work and that it's not just this app, um, I'm going to go back to the game or the app that I was trying to open before. Open it. And as you can see, it does not exit itself anymore. Now, when you download a new app, what it does is it reinstates the authentication. I can't fucking pronounce that word. I don't know why. Today's one of those days where, like, your tongue isn't, like, as smooth as it usually is. But basically, it just reconnects your iPod to the iTunes store and, and authenticates. Fuck this. Fuck English. English language sucks balls. <laughs> but, yeah. As you guys can see, the app works now. I'm sorry for my terrible, terrible English this video, guys. But as you can see, I can actually play this app now, no problem. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Peace out.